Hello. Today we're talking about homes and the things in them that you like and you don't like. We talked about homes in our last programme. Do you remember? Walter and Jean had a holiday in an old house in the country. Walter liked the house because it was old. He doesn't like modern things. When I was a child, we didn't have hot water, we didn't have a TV, and we didn't have a fridge, but we had the fresh air, we had the sea, the trees. Walter, that was a long time ago. Jean didn't like the house. There wasn't much furniture. There wasn't any hot water. And there wasn't any kitchen equipment. Y había otro motivo por el que a Jean no le gustaron las vacaciones. Do you remember? What does she like doing on holiday? And what doesn't she like doing? On holiday, I like sitting in the sun. At night, I like dancing in a nightclub. I don't like wearing jumpers in June. No le gusta llevar jerseys en junio. ¿Y a quién le gusta? Well, today we're going to meet lots of different people, and they're going to talk about their homes and about the things they like. Sobre sus casas y las cosas que les gustan en ellas. Y las cosas que no les gustan. Y estas son algunas de las palabras que vas a escuchar. Comfortable. Cómodo. Cottage. Casa de campo. Cozy. Acogedora. Cozy es una palabra muy importante para los ingleses cuando hablan de sus casas. First we ask some people, what do you like about your home? And then, what don't you like about your home? I really love my house. It's a cottage and it's very cosy and very comfortable. I love the furniture in my flat. I have a beautiful sofa. I really like my living room. It's very cosy. The room that I don't like is our kitchen. It's very small. I hate the bathroom. It has no windows. No me gusta nada el cuarto de baño. No tiene ventanas. How about you, Robert? What sort of house do you live in? Is your home cosy? I live in a small cottage in a village in the country. Here, I've got a photo. It's very cosy. It's about 200 years old. It's small and comfortable. I really like old houses. It's got a lovely little garden with a nice lawn. What lovely flowers. Es un modo de vida muy británico, ¿no? La casa, el jardín, el césped, los matizos de flores. But I live in a flat and I love it. I don't like flats. The walls are thin. Las paredes son delgadas. People are above you, below you, next to you, and you can hear them, and they can hear you. En la escena siguiente, oirás esta expresión. The house has got running water. La casa tiene agua corriente. Y mucho me temo que quien dice esto no es ni más ni menos que ese cómico genial llamado Danny Dodds. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the funniest man in the world, Danny Dodds. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you like your home? I love mine. It's a lovely house, but the walls are a bit thin. They're about this thin. Yesterday, I asked my wife a question, and the woman in the next house answered. <laughs> Do you get it? The walls are thin, 
Yesterday, I asked my wife a question, and the woman in the next house answered. Do you understand? No. The walls of my house are so thin that... Oh, never mind. But we've got running water in our house. Well, only when it rains. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We have hot and cold running water. Hot in the summer and cold in the winter. <laughs> hot and cold running water? Hot in the summer, cold in the winter? No? The stairs are dangerous too. They're like this. My brother fell down the stairs this morning, but it was all right. He was coming down anyway. <laughs> we spend a lot of time at home, but my wife wants to travel. She wants to see the world. So, I bought her a map. <laughs> Did you understand the last joke? His wife wants to see the world, so he's bought her a map. Su mujer quiere ver mundo, así que él le ha comprado un mapa. Good joke, isn't it? Not very. Not very funny for his wife, anyway. Now, here's someone who really likes her home. Please welcome Debbie with her latest song, Come and sit with me. I like sitting in the old armchair, turning on the old TV, warming my hands and my feet by the fire. Is there a nicer place to be? I can see the garden through the window. There are friendly pictures on the wall. There are children playing all around. Be careful now, don't fall. I like sitting in the old armchair, turning on the old TV, warming my hands and my feet by the fire. Thank you, Debbie. It makes you sleepy, doesn't it? Yes. I love going to sleep in an armchair by the fire. En un sillón junto a la chimenea. It's time for a commercial break. ¿Qué haces con las alfombras sucias? Here's a man with some information about the very latest thing. Aquí tenemos la última novedad. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Yes, it's the very latest thing. Have you got a lovely home? Have you got children, madam? Yes. I love children too. But they get their shoes dirty and they come into the house. Do they take their shoes off? No, they don't. They walk into the house with dirty shoes on. So, they get dirt all over your new carpet. Do the children clean up the dirt from the carpet? No, they don't. Who cleans the dirty carpet? I do. Well, not now. This is the newest vacuum cleaner. It's called the Newton. It's so good, even men enjoy using the Newton vacuum cleaner. Children adore using the Newton vacuum cleaner. Everyone wants to use it. It's fast and it's quiet. Quieter than a mouse. Watch how easy it is to use. Right. 
Has anyone got a broom? Tiene alguien una escoba? A broom? Pobre hombre. Me imagino cómo se siente. Pero, ¿te has fijado cómo ha descrito la aspiradora? It's fast and it's quiet. Quieter than a mouse. Quieter than a mouse. Más silenciosa que un ratón. We've heard expressions like that before. Do you remember? Fab washing powder makes clothes whiter than white. And as white as snow. Deberías intentar memorizar estas expresiones. Son realmente útiles. Now we're going to meet Mrs. Hunt again. Today, she is going to show us around her house. Mrs. Hunt nos va a enseñar su casa. This is the family room. I love this room. We all meet here in the evening. And this is my cooker. In the kitchen, we've got a sink, we've got a dishwasher, we've got a washing machine, and we've got a microwave, all mod cons. This is the sitting room. We bought the piano a long time ago. This is the family clock. I love the clock. This is another sitting room. It's bigger. We like watching TV in here. This is my collection of plates. I've collected plates for 20 years. I bought that one on holiday last year. I don't like these plates. I don't like the colors. I love this plate. It's beautiful. Mrs. Hunt used an interesting expression to describe all the equipment in her kitchen. All mod cons. All mod cons. Todas las comodidades modernas. Es una abreviatura de All Modern Conveniences. Es decir, todos los aparatos y electrodomésticos que se necesitan en una casa. All Mod Conveniences. Cons. And that's all we have time for today. Here's something you can do after the program. Imagine you have visitors from Britain. Show them around your house or flat. Tell them in English what rooms you've got and what furniture you've got. If you don't know the English words, look them up in a dictionary. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I hope you'll join us for our next programme. Why don't you come and see?